In this video, I'll show you how to use lexicons and dictionaries to look up Hebrew terms, then show you how to easily navigate through an entry. So, let's imagine that you're studying Psalm 8, and you get down to verse 5, which reads, God made man a little lower than the heavenly beings. When you right-click the phrase heavenly beings, you'll notice that this term comes from the Hebrew lemma Elohim. As you might already know, this lemma has a wide range of meanings. If you want to define this Hebrew lemma using your lexicons and dictionaries, select the lemma form Elohim from the right-hand side of the context menu. Then scroll down the left-hand side, and Logos lets you look this term up using one of your five top lexicons. When I choose one of the lexicons, Logos takes me to that exact entry. Of course, there are more than five lexicons in Logos, so let me show you how to use them all. In the Lexicon toolbar, click to expand the Parallel Resource button. Then, in the menu that appears, you can see every Hebrew dictionary that defines this term. If you're looking for a concise definition, I'd suggest opening up Strong's Dictionary. Here, you'll find a short and to-the-point definition of a term. For this Hebrew lemma, we learn that the term is used in reference to gods in an ordinary sense, or to the Supreme God. It can also be used to speak about magistrates, angels, and judges. If you want more information than what's in Strong's, but don't want to use a lexicon as technical as BDB or Halot, a good intermediate lexicon is DBL, which stands for Dictionary of Biblical Languages. And because this is my lexicon of choice, I've prioritized this lexicon in my library, which you can see on my screen. What this enables me to do is look up a term with a simple double click. First, open up your preferred Hebrew Bible, like LHB. Then, double-click the term May Elohim in verse 6, and immediately Logos opens DBL to the entry for the lemma Elohim. From this lexicon, we learn that there are about a dozen different shades of meaning for this term, each one indicated by a bold number, and each one of the variations begins with a one- or two-word glossary definition, coupled with links to cross-references and additional resources. While all this information is extremely helpful, there's a lot of text to wade through. To make your lexicon a little easier to navigate, go to the Visual Filter menu and enable the Outline Formatting Visual Filter. This filter reformats my lexicon, separating each shade of meaning, making it easy for me to find the information I'm looking for. Now I can quickly scan through the glosses and track down the right meaning. So when it comes to defining Hebrew terms, Logos has got you covered. You can expose Hebrew lemmas from your English Bible then hunt down a definition in your lexicon of choice with just a click.